I got you, but again, at least trying all this is my first impression backlog death march. Here we've got the eleventh hour. Uh what the heck? Put James. I gotta take a step. You need to quit and rock okay. I can't make a move. I can't sing a thought. Okay, so it turns into an I when you're over something. Okay. I can't sing a song, this way in a moment. Okay. I can't get away from the singular voice. This user interface right here. This is the title screen. This is this is useless almost. I mean, you've got like a little tiny button to actually you know, play the game. It doesn't even look like a button. I mean, none of this looks like anything. You know, it looks like you have, have two options. You have to play the game and the making of the 11th hour. And it's like... Whatever this dude in... In the background is singing about. Yeah, let's play the game. <laughs> Brighton till eleven is just revealed. State police have called off the intense search for producer Robin Morales of television's Case Unsolved. Morales was researching a story about the famed haunted house in the small town of Harley on Hudson, the abandoned mansion of Henry Stauff. Police have expressed concern that Morales' disappearance may be connected to a series of killings that have plagued the Hudson Valley this year. So far, four women and three men have been victims fitting a pattern of homicide, and several others are missing. Robin Morales has been missing for more than three weeks and seems to have vanished without a trace. She's the producer for the very popular and flamboyant Case Unsolved reporter, Carl Denning. Denning is said to have been in seclusion in his country home in Connecticut since Morales' disappearance. It's rumored that the two became romantically involved while working. Old school FMV, pretty, pretty grainy and like, <laughs> like four colors to work with. computers. Damn. Instead of a palm pilot, it's a, a palm plot device. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's the best you're getting.
feel about people I work with. Oh. Yeah, I don't get involved. Uh-huh. I have the same rule. I've been thinking about breaking this rule. So am I. Okay, so uh, this dude's romantically involved with his producer on some TV show and gets some uh, mysterious video thing in the mail after she's apparently been murdered or something. Or has gone and missing. And now it's turning rather spicy. New complaint. thought you liked me. I just can't go on like this. People, everyone's saying that I slept with you to become your producer. <laughs> well, didn't you? I can't believe you just said that. You of all people. I'm a good producer. Robin, you're good at a lot of things. I tell you what, Ms. Morales, I'll just see you in the office on Monday. No, I'll be in Harding on Hudson next week. <sighs> Listen, forget it. Maybe if I'm lucky, you'll just become one of the missing people in Harley. Don't say that. It scares me. I already did. Damn, that's cold. Well, if I'm lucky, you'll just, uh, you'll just be ruthlessly murdered. Oh yeah, that all solve my problems. So I figure this is the place that was shown in the like video thing, but does is this a place he knows or I guess we're getting into the meat and potatoes of the game soon, I assume. Technology, door closure systems. Three. three. Knocking the door three times. Okay, three. Rap on the door three times.
mixed up. Winter cold, warm for a mixer. What? Winter cold, warm for a mixer. This cursor is pretty terrible. We don't really know. So let's uh trying to do. I'm trying to get the white ones on the white spots and the black ones on the black spots. And, and. Bam! Yeah. You'll not find the next one is pleasant. Okay. Well, hey, I beat that and it doesn't look like it's doing anything. What is this? Another one? Hit a bottleneck, Carl. <laughs> what? Oh, be careful now. You wouldn't want to get something right, would you? Oh, jeez. Okay, wow. hour. Yeah, that uh, one puzzle, uh, I'm actually kind of happy that that one puzzle uh, took, well, at least for me, <laughs> took a bit of thinking to get through. Actually, get through it. to be honest here. So the interface is terrible. The cursor is terrible. I'm not going to rag on the graphics being kind of, you know, of the time that they were made, but it's just like this hand thing, it doesn't tell me what the hell I'm doing. It's like, okay, am I massaging this thing? I mean, why, would, why was he laughing at that? No idea what is going on with Not the same as on TV, eh? That, that tells me nothing. It's like not the same I was on TV. What the hell am I looking at? What am I supposed to be doing here? I solved that one puzzle, but it doesn't actually seem like it's doing anything. Give up yet? Yeah. So I think this is one of those ones that you basically have to. I want to look at. The, 
door. Okay, yeah, whatever. So yeah, the interface is terrible. It's kind of like... Okay, I want to go all around the stairs. How do I do that? So, yeah, I've got to be completely honest, it's not that good to play. The, the puzzles do look like they have uh, some potential at least, but it's just like, it's giving you no feedback as to, like, are you looking at the right stuff, or are you looking at the wrong stuff, or whatever you are looking at it. This, this guy talking at you and saying, Wow, you're so stupid! And it's like, give me something a little more than that, okay? I don't know if there's like something that's supposed to be popping up here. Uh, I am playing on the Steam version. I don't know if there's something else that uh, is supposed to be going on here. But yeah, just uh, bad design decisions all around. So yeah, 11th, uh, 11th hour not very good. So, till next time, later.